Welcome back, my hardworking Americans. So win streak of 26. We're going to see if we can get that to 28 here in a second. Hello. What an interesting start we have here. There's the seed. And let's ride. So we've got Minecrafter, which, in my opinion, one of the best items you can start with, to be honest. Uh, that's just where it's at. And I'm going to try and fulfill this list here. We'll see what we can do. Uh, come here. Ah, come here. Come here. There we go. So the two items we start with are Minecrafter and Death's List. Minecrafter will give us a placeable explosive uh, in every single room. It's a one room charge. Very strong. Okay, very solid. And Death's List uh, will give us rewards if we kill enemies in the way that it wants us to. Sometimes it's stat ups, sometimes it's a nickel, which is good. Good to see a nickel there. Uh, now let's talk about stats. Let's keep things focused here. Ooh, my Omega, I like my Omega. Usually, uh, usually not going to have 15 cents by this point in a run, but we'll see. So, uh, let's talk. Point nine six speed is fine. Totally cool with it. Um, and honestly, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm getting a little too cute with it. This, this, if I can't get over there, yeah, he's under extreme protection there by the Secret Service. Okay, there we go. We can shoot one of them at least now. All right, 0.96 speed. Oh, terrible dodge. And then 2.19 tier is honestly the first thing we'll say uh, is a little low, but not terrible at the moment. And quickly remedied by a single deathless payout. Oh, can you imagine? Okay, that was that was a range up. But can you imagine if it was actually tears? That would have been insane. So. Now you see the game plan here. We are kind of lucky to have Death's List this early because it means we can, usually on the younger floors of the run, eh, eh. Uh, it's easier to fulfill a Death's List. Two enemies, neither of which actually is going to do any damage to me on this floor, or ever, not just at all. The battery sucking mosquitoes. You know, these guys are easy pickings for a guy like me. And I got one more minecrafter to visit our curse room now I our damage is also a little low we're looking at 3.14 not excitingly high okay that guy that explosion lasted way too long before he popped okay I don't know I don't know about you game I felt like you were trying to get me in trouble there so uh, on the stats side we are low DPS wise but it's not Oh, it's not Jover, okay? I'm going to take my time and uh, get this list to, to, to pop. Because luckily with low damage, it means we're not going to be one-shotting many enemies. Which means there is some grace if we miss and hit somebody else, okay? So that's like, honestly, a negative turned into a positive. And there's shot speed. So, again, you know, you can get stats. It is possible. Uh, do we want that stat? No, but... We'll, we will get someday. We'll get tier, a tier stat or damage up. Or nickel. So, yeah, I am I am definitely concerned with the HP. You know, me personally, I don't like being at low HP ever. So, it tracks, you know, if, uh, if we're being honest with ourselves. And let's see, was there... There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could buy... I could buy... Mama Mega and make the boss fight easier, but I've got two bombs currently to my name. Um, I'm gonna save them for the boss fight. I got three bombs to my name, so that's good. Definitely happy to see that. And I'm thinking this is second seeker room. I'm willing to try. More pills. I just I don't love that. A tears down turns like a slightly down run into a very down run, so I just I don't love that at all. And uh, let's see, he's going to spawn a lot of enemies, which is kind of a problem for us. So we're going to see if we can put a bomb on him and deal some damage that way. Now, of course, he's not a problem until he starts dashing, which here he goes. You know, He'll start bopping around his friends, which is not ideal either. Uh, Dingle, you know, he, he's okay. Luckily for us, he does spawn a poop, which actually might be a natural cover if he starts to dash for, towards us again. Uh, we'll see. Learning something new. I think his spawn limit might be four poops, and there he goes, breaking that. Oh my god, dude, chill. 
Just gonna keep putting myself between him and the poop. Putting the poop between us. That's what I meant. Not the other way around. Okay. Uh, we're, we're cooking. Okay, we're, we're working our way down here. I, uh... <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> It was gonna be impossible to do a death list on this boss fight. I, I was gonna try, and then I remembered he actually spawns enemies. And at that point, it's like, okay, your goose is cooked. And my goose might be cooked here. Hold on now. All right, we lived. Very good. Very, very good. And we got staplers, so good. Damage up is great. Uh, huge concern. Huge concern right now in the 305. And I don't have a whole lot of HP. I, I'm a one hit so conceivably what somebody could do in my position is start taking a ton of pills because they know they're not gonna be health downs or bad trips they might actually be health up um, I'm not willing to do that just yet I'm not I'm not there yet but you know we should definitely play like we're frail because we definitely are and uh, this might be a room where Better just to not worry about death list, and here I am worrying about death list. So what do we? Well, you know, no, no. Let's do this. Oh, I actually did. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Run, boy! Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Okay. All right, we're alive. Uh, now you start taking pills. Oh no. Okay. Uh, yo, listen is great, but I'm gonna need. Oh, thank you. Woo! I did not even care about the losing the deal of the devil. I just want to be alive. I want to live. Whew, okay, we can breathe a little bit. We can breathe a little bit. So, we see the range down pill. And that's kind of where... That's the least of my worries, right? That's, that's really nothing at all uh, to worry about. And we're going to absolutely drop a crafter here and see if we can blow somebody up. Okay, totally worth. No question. Uh, I need to be careful, dude, because these guys, this is how you lose an HP, and uh, when you lose one, there's, there's always more HP to lose in a, in a room than you'd expect. Okay, that's that's the truth of the matter. <laughs> okay. Well, we made it to our shop, which is good news, but we can't actually get in quite yet. Hoping there's a spirit heart in there, that would really uh, be good for the program. But being careful here to shoot shoot fire, take the due diligence. Uh, this one might be worth trying to do. If the spiders he spawns are the ones I can kill. Nope. Okay. We're not going to worry about it. And I'm going to kind of lead this spider away for a second so I can blow up into the shop. Because it looks like we will be able to make it in there with our secret room. So this is where a, a, we have a beautiful combo right now. A very minor combo. Oh, hello. A very minor combo, but it is something of Yo Look Listen and Minecrafter. So uh, Yo Listen will tell us where to bomb, and Minecrafter will get us in. Uh, a pretty underwhelming shop, unfortunately to say, uh, looking at it. And that's all right. It's scary, but it's all right. And uh, we we march. So, yeah, we ugh, unfortunately can't really do much here, can we? So this is where I'll be okay. This one may be worth trying to list it. I don't know. We're going to kind of do some walking. Shoot the gap. Oh, I'll put him in front. All right, now we're going to get these guys over here. And then we're going to go. Why are some of them faster than others? What's going on? Why are you doing that? How are you doing that? Let's say that. Oh, just take care of business. Okay. No! <laughs> we're off to the races, boys. You ain't got nothing on me, son. I'm schmoovin'. I am doc- Oh, that guy's lost. Ankle's gone. Alright, come on. Give me the one. No. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Oh, got him! <laughs> so, this is so bad to be doing this. Oh, okay. Yep, there you go. This room could have been over 20 seconds ago, and I would be fine. Uh, there is a rainbow poop, so if I, if I survive, I should be alright. Alright, we're gonna live. We got a nickel. Alright, let's go get that rainbow poop. I, uh, I'm playing with fire to an insane degree here. It makes me nervous, of course, but there's nothing else I can really do other than try and make plays like this for the ever-lovely desk list. I mean, 
That's 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 what I'm playing for right now. I know that seems it's it's not the best plan, but it is a plan. And uh, we're gonna wait on that boss. One HP again. I w I would love to see an HP up from the boss. That'd be great. And uh, okay, okay. No. Oh, oh. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Well, a bomb and a key is great. Gonna save the bombs. Uh, ooh. Okay, Red Hearts is is nice to see, but it's also not because if I get hit twice in a room, it's over. Yeah, there's no great magic redo on that, so it's very much on edge for me. Okay, Pride. Gotta be careful. I don't know if what, what damage his bombs do, but hopefully it's not enough to kill. I'm just gonna stay parallel with him because his his crazy attack, the one that I really dislike, is his all directions corners attack and I could you know I could drop minecrafter over where I want to use it and then come back for another free charge but that's a little too much for me so I'm gonna sit up now for this boss and uh, whew, we're keeping it real real sketchy thank you burnt penny doing great keeping our bomb number up and this is not who you want to see here that is for sure Take care of the spider, and then we're just gonna absolutely bomb drop this guy to infinity. So eat one. Oh my, we actually got him in one bomb. And we got a spirit heart, which whoo! Okay, I can sit back again. We're good. That's uh that's great. We actually did get a death's list payout on Ragman, so that's really special. And uh we know our HP, it's not very good, but it is one point one point one. How does that work? Uh, basically, it doesn't, but... We have a wonderful spirit heart. Very happy to see it. I don't care at all that I lost a deal with the devil. Okay, I'm, it is much better to be alive <laughs> than to be worried about that. All right, I'm, I'm teaching you guys a new outlook on life. We don't worry about these things. And a range down pill. This is treacherous because I'm not immune to... Uh, I mean, this one has a better chance of saving my life immediately. So we're going to see what we got. Ho, ho, ho! Yeah, you pop it and you just take them because I'd rather do it now and hold on to them. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to the item room. Tractor beam. hey -o! I like tractor beam. It's a tears and damage up, so... Oh, no, it's not a damage up. I'm sorry. It's just a tears up. Well, I learned something new. So we're going to use the br the black poops here to our advantage. And I didn't really touch on it because at the moment it wasn't life or death to talk about it. But we did get jumper cables. So for every 15 enemies that I kill, it is going to equal a extra charge on a space bar item. So while right now, uh, you know, it's... It doesn't do much. Ace of Spades is really awesome to see. It doesn't do much right now. Oh, yeah. Well, Ace of Spades that. And we got a speed up. hey -o. We got a speed up from our love, ever lovely death list. And uh, Red... <laughs> this would honestly be the time to ditch Minecrafter for Red Candle. Because that's great damage. Ah, oh, all these pills. Oh, there's a power pill here. All right. Power pill is what I wanted. Um... And I totally agree with that. Honestly, I do. Um, the DPS factor here is going to be really important to consider. And maybe we get Magic Rush. Who knows? A lot of pills, though. I wish there was PhD in our shop because then, my friends, we could have actually done something with all these pillies. Some of them could be really good. We could have... We could... It is fully conceivable to have... Uh, Boom, 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 boom. It's fully conceivable to have some tears and HP ups in that rotation. But we're not going to know. Okay, somehow he did not die to a fire. Which one is it? This is the one in the back. Ha-ha! <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. There's six cents and two bombs for just beating four guys the way the game wanted me to. 
But rooms where I'm not gonna worry about it, I'm really not gonna worry about it, and I don't think you guys should either. A library, okay, didn't even see that till just now, but that, that's huge, potentially huge. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. Satanic Bible is very boring play, but it is a play. Um, good point. I'm not loving it. I, I do feel badly because it completely transforms our run into uh, who cares what happens. We're going to have, uh, we're going to win. But we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe it's still tough. It's, it's probably going to be not. Uh, now it's only a matter of time before we get an absolutely sick wizard. Uh, oh, there we go. Constellation prize. Always good to see that kind of item. You gotta love it. And, um, Callus? You know, is it better than Burnt Penny at this point? It probably is. You know, we're, we're, we're probably getting to that point. It's probably more valuable. Without flight, that is, to, to be able to say no to creeps and spike on the floor. Am I gonna forget I have it? Oh yeah, 100%. We, we all know I'm gonna forget I have it, but that's the art, that's the art of the deal, baby. Woo! Okay, so, um... What just happened? What? Why am I all, I'm all of a sudden so tranquil? Well, uh, given that it's Curse of the Unknown, you guys can't actually see, but Satanic I Bible, um, in my claim, is certainly possibly one of the best items in the game. I mean, completely unironically, it might be one of the best items in the game. It's just so guarantee win to a, a fault. I mean, you get a black heart every six rooms, so... HP regen in this game in general is a tough one. I mean, there's their fix is to make these items hard to find without actually because if you remove it, you remove like a big heart and soul from the game. Like this, to remove a spirit heart generator, a black heart generator, these types of things that are kind of cornerstones of the game, you know, you're stuck. They're gonna be here whether you like it or not, and you can either nuke them to irrelevancy and make everybody hate you. Or you can keep them as is, and uh, which is what they've done. And honestly, so now we have to pay for little Chad. That's that's lame. But we do get in here. Little Horn is phenomenal, and a Thame is also phenomenal. Um, we'll just take it. I, we I don't know if we can take both. I don't actually know the state of our HP. Oh, we can. And it did not kill us, and we still. Oh. It's possible I have a single heart right now. Okay, no, we got two. Very good. So, a Thame is going to make our lives a lot easier, and we're not going to be worried so much about Death's List. It, that, was, that was pretty much the symbolic end to Death's List. Honestly, Blank Card is very cool to see. We're not going to use it. It's just, again, you know, there's nothing better than what I currently have. Paperclip is... Really good. We'll take that probably instead of Callus. And then we've got also Lil Horn. So Lil Horn, honestly, a really solid tier effect. Really, really good. I love it. Um, happy to see that in all facets of the game. And that's a very awesome uh, arcade right there. We're going to try everything to make that one pay out in a meaningful way. There you go, there's a free charge with uh, courtesy de la Jumper Cable. Oh, okay, that was bad. Oh, somehow I did not get hit. Oh, okay, oh, there you go. Paid for it eventually. <laughs> hey! We got a damage up! Uh oh. Oh, it's a massive power pill? Okay. Not bad. This guy is so treacherous. He really is. Thank you for the key. And hey, yo. We're going to honestly go to the item room. You could honestly say, wait, wait for your shop. But little Chubby's here. Going to make things a little softer for us. You know, not that high impact of an item, but it's, it's enough to add. Definitely enough to say thank you for. Okay. Uh, well, Sackhead is insanely good. 
and there's plays to be made on this floor i will show you them we are definitely gonna try and get into the boss challenge room and oh yes sir we are gonna try uh why don't we wait on that because i'm not quite sure how it works we are gonna wait till we get our lovely satanic bible back i kind of fumbled a small bit by by going and using it without going into the boss challenge room I think we've got enough of, of a floor left to get charges, so, you know, in that regard, I, I don't feel like it's it's all said and done, but, okay, we'll just take them out one at a time. I'm cool with this. I, I was still, I was still, oh, yeah, because I'm, <laughs> I can't reach, I can't reach. All right, so we're gonna try before anything else after this room. I anticipate getting a charge on our lovely Bible. I have forgotten somebody. Ah. Oh, there's even a regen guy. Okay, so let's do something a little goofy. I'm still down to take risk. Okay, let's not let's not say this run is cooked, but. I am ready to do a little bit of gambling. Oh, good, a pill. Man, this would have been, I'm telling you, a PhD run would have been absolutely stellar. Oh, nope, don't want that. All right, what I do want is power pill, and I now get to see what's in here. Uh, we'll take it, happily, and then who is it? Okay, yeah, we're gonna power pill. Absolutely gonna power pill. Uh-oh, come on. Come on! Oh, you are so lame, Ragmega. But now we have a massive damage up for the room. I don't really know how that works. We get to fight Frail. How did I not get hit there? I have no idea. Frail is tough. Okay, there's no, honestly, no denying that. And, yep, he's a tricky bugger. But we've got such a fat stack of HP that, like, you know, we had plus seven damage there thanks to Power Pill. So, uh, you know, that was just good to be a part of. Take this, take this. What was in here? Boom. I remember, don't worry. Boom. And now we're... Now we're back in black. We've got a nice speed and damage up thanks to growth hormones. It was worth fighting for. Worth the wait, as it were. And now we're going to continue playing Mr. Bad Guy over here to get some sauce. I want an item. Any item will do. I honestly won't be picky. Hmm. We blow both of these guys up. Sorry. Oh, okay. Hey! Whoa! Virus is a very sneaky pick there. Very happy to see that. It's It puts us one closer to spun. So spun would be a nice damage up in uh, in every way, and we're not gonna be uh, not gonna be upset about that one. Also, we got poison touch now with virus, so it, that might come into fruition at some point. We'll see. But uh, you know, I uh, I usually give death's list. To, ooh, that's just a, a game breaking trinket right there. Is what that was. <laughs> Double Trouble Monster, very cool. I, I usually do give Death's List a very hard time, and that's and that's a little unfair. I think honestly, Death's List a total of totally serviceable item. It has done great things for us on this run already. So to all the people out there who maybe get a little sad that I keep dunking on it, uh, truthfully I don't care even a little bit. But you know I'm, I do respect your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> where are we going no we're going to the vending machine of blood to go get a couple more pennies and then we're gone took blood oath there from the deal with the devil i like blood oath um it can be a little tricky okay let's if we're gonna do it let's do it Ooh. all right very good and okay what am I what am I really worried about? Nothing. 
I'm worried about nothing. Uh, what? Where are we at? Flood Caves 2? Oh, word? Okay, I did not know that little interaction there was a valid uh, move, but that's interesting. So the, the golden pennies can turn into sacks. Alright, we're going. Whoop! See ya! We're ballin'. It's definitely not the speeds we've, we're used to on this, uh, on this life that we have here. We've, we've been obviously the benefactor to some amazing runs as of late. So, to have one start so tricky was a breath of fresh air in its own way. Oh, nice! A tears up. See, that's, I mean, I, I'll give it to you, man. I, I, I say death list. Very great to start with. It did a lot for us on this run. For sure. Gave us a lot of money, a lot of stats. I mean, oh, no matter what, we were coming out on top. We're going to go in here because we got HP, and I was still blinking with invincibility on that. That's why I did not get hit. Ace of Hearts is what the one I want. Whoop! But to get back to you guys, I had felt the room out on... No way I got Deathless to pay out there. That's pure luck. I would felt the room out with uh, what people were maybe interested in seeing beyond Binding of Isaac. And honestly, there was a small interest in a Terraria playthrough. I think, honestly, the more I thought about it, I think the more I like that one. Um, there was even a comment to do Summoner only. And... I kind of really like that, too. Uh, summoner only... Oh, yeah, that's really solid. What does this do? Okay, reveals pick up and pickups and trinkets. So, I think I'm going to go with it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. This room's new. I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to start working on uh, that little project. It's going to be... I mean, from what I've seen online on you know what's currently out there um i'm kind of tempted to go full crazy and just say yo only summoner damage as in like no whip just let the summoners run around i've never really approached a, a run of terraria in that way um so that honestly does excite me i i like the idea of it uh i know the idea initially was to do a summoner playthrough which is totally great but I think I might even expand a little further. So I'm going to be starting that soon. And I don't really know the pacing on it. I'm going to see uh, how long it takes me to do what. And uh, if it's, you know, if it's a lot of work to get anywhere, then there's probably going to be a few episodes of, <laughs> of this uh, playthrough. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to leave that at that. Um, Oh yeah, we'll take we'll take Rotten Hearts. It doesn't matter. They're gonna be gone at the next floor anyway. Now I could restock into the shop, but we'll see if I do or not. Actually, it's not a bad idea. It's just with 13 cents, it's not like we're like gonna be able to reroll a ton. And it would be oh, I do have an item room I could reroll, but I do I want to see kind of if there's a devil deal that I could potentially do that for because the devil deal reroll would be probably stronger cage oh wow wow <laughs> yeah okay we got ink you ink you bust ink you bust a nut Uh, no anti-grav, certainly not today. Punching bag, certainly not today. Bomb bag, you would have been fine. Suplex, you're like on my, you're like, oh. You know, uh, guillotine would have actually been really good. Because the tears, oh. Because the tears would have gone where we wanted them anyway with tractor beam. Oh, I totally knew that was a uh, spikes chest. That's why I was doing that. Uh-huh, yep, 100%. So now we can go ahead and, yeah, just edge to you guys. <laughs> All right, let's roll. We'll see what uh, this stuff had switched into. 
and oh, okay. Good amount of bombs and keys is great. So we just got Incubus. That's a stellar pickup. I mean, as far as pickups go, one of the best deal with the devil items in the game. So uh, again, I mean, I know, I know it's probably a little disappointing for some to see Satanic Bible so soon, but hey, I don't make the rules. I mean, I do, but I'm not making, I'm not changing the rules. <laughs> Two clubs, very good. Oh, a little horn doing some cool tricks. I see the tinted rock there. If it's small rock, I'm happy with it. Uh, the speed down would kind of suck because we're not like flush with speed. And you know what? It's not going to matter anyway because we didn't get it. How about that? So this floor is, correct me if I'm wrong, it is mom, okay. So Blood Oath was honestly kind of a bad pickup. And I should have picked it up with Dark Prince's crown because if we're being real, uh, Dark Prince's crown is really solid. And I could have kept myself at one red heart, one red bone heart there. So, you know, that was maybe a bit of a bag fumble for me. I'll be the first to admit. Wow. I mean, we're just stacking HP, man. There's no question. Not much else to really say about that. Now, where was I? On uh, anything else? What, what, what shall we discuss today? Ah... Yesterday I had a migraine, so I don't know if anyone here gets migraines, but if you do If you don't honestly, I didn't get them till later in life. So for most of you know my younger years I didn't qu I wouldn't say I didn't believe That they were bad, but I didn't know how bad they could be So, you know that was that was on me I played myself on that one They can be they can be pretty powerful um Honestly, I they're real. They are real. S surprise, surprise. I've been uh, converted from a non-believer to the truth. And there we go. There's a reverse emperor card, which is sweet. We're going to be able to teleport to a boss that we had no right to uh, see. And there's 12 HP. Uh, so yeah, I got a migraine. That's Wow, Bloody Penny kind of buns today. What's going on with you? Uh... uh it doesn't actually break the tier cap, so it's not worth picking up. All right, Mama Gertie, who I absolutely despise. See, I don't really know what more there is to say on that one, but if you get migraines out there, I feel for you. Uh, they're no joke. Mine was... Ooh, wow, it's insane. Mine was pretty brutal. I uh, was basically in bed most of the day. I mean, I... You know, yeah, for me, like, I lose vision from and some of them, and, you know, it's just a really bad headache, you know? I can't really do anything other than just be in pain, so. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get the compass. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, okay, D100. I've got the money to see if there's an item behind it that I want, but I don't think I'm going to D100 this run. This run's really good. Okay, immediately gave me Bobby bombs. Uh, wow, world's hardest D100. It did give it to me. Just to tease me with SMB super fan. Oh, that is, that is something special, isn't it? I'm not gonna get another coin. Got a range up. Ooh, guppy's cow. No, I'm not gonna take. I am not gonna take that cursed eye. And fortunately, with no money, I, I can't really get uh, SMB super fan. But you know, we'll we'll pretend we got it in spirit. How about that? I got bigger fish to fry. Mom being one of them. Uh, as soon as I get a backstabber play, it's over. And never mind, it is just flat out over, over right now. So we got compass, which means I'm gonna W key for the bosses here. There's no real other re. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna try to. Uh, 
What's better, compass or map? I'm going to say... Uh, why not both? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would definitely say compass is better than map. You can see all the... it's The room layouts is probably less deceiving. Like You can make a probably more informed decision on which way to go and avoid dead ends at least one room sooner. Um, but you could be missing a planetarium. And that's like obviously the biggest part of compass is you're gonna see every room on the floor like you at least gonna be able to make a choice on whether or not you want to go you know there's a lot of floors where I think there's nothing left to be done and there probably is several times so that's just not been the case so gonna go ahead and say compass is probably better but truthfully for me I hold mapping in a very high regard I think just being able to save time in later floors is invaluable you know cuz there's not really much you're missing it's just a matter of you know how many rooms can you survive before you finally have to face the boss how many how many rooms are you gonna be taking damage before you finally face the boss you know it's just stuff like that um, always to consider and, wow Loki just getting slapped around yeah we're taking money equals power you can bet your bottom dollar on that <laughs> Lump of coal is obviously a phenomenal find. Our speed stat is phenomenal. Why did I pick that up? Because in my mind, when we had said Dark Prince's Crown, I envisioned the Dark Prince's Crown. Now that can be remedied quickly with Blood Oath, doing a Blood Oath thing. So there you go. And uh, yeah, I could probably f see what's going on in that uh, arcade, but at the same time, I could not. And we will just, we'll never know what I do until, uh, until I've officially left the floor. So how about that? <laughs> this is, this has turned into a very strong run. And no, and truthfully, no surprise there. Pretty much as soon as we had picked up Satanic Bible, it was going to be a strong run. So. Not much we can really do more at this point. I know me personally, I actually really like Blood Oath because it works so well with uh, Bloody Lust, Bloody Gust, you know, uh, just taking damage at all, it really helps. There's a lot of builds that do well for taking damage, so, yeah, I can't name them all, but they're out there. There we go. See what I'm saying? I mean, we, oh, okay. How the heck am I supposed to get over there? I'll show you. Oh, it's simple. All right. See us go. Time is almost here. I'm ready to go party. Gonna go bottom frag for the homies. You know how we do. All right. Let's rock and roll. It is. It lives. Total surprise. Mom, I had no idea you'd be here. Thank you, Blanket, for uh, using what I like to call uh, the epic game maneuver. So I'm going to sit behind her just to deal some backstabber damage, but I'm not really willing to take too much too much sauce from that one. And bada bing, bada boom, it is uh, Mr. Worldwide as I step in the room here, and the room being Cathedral. Uh, Isaac, your time is coming. And hello, there's a library. That could be very something. That could be something very special. Uh, what, what, what would I even want in there? Nothing. Nothing. But I would get Bookworm, which just is a big DPS up, so... Love the bookworm transformation, personally. I think it adds a ton of dynamic to, like, libraries in general. You know, like, it used to be you just collect books just to run them out and potentially get uh, the library to be essentially a, a multi-pedestaled item room or random pedestal item rooms. Very cool strategy. It doesn't always pay out. And there's only one book, huh? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, let's roll. What do we think? Oh, okay, we're thinking that this is not the correct way at all. Only baby dummies go that way. The correct way is like here, and wow. So this is like kind of where the uh, homies would say, "Yo, uh, br buddy, what? Uh, why is what? What is this map generation?" And then I tell you. Buddy, I'm 
I find some of the weirdest ones, okay? And believe me, <laughs> this is walking the park with some of the stuff I've seen. <laughs> as soon as the game feels like it's over, I feel like it gets a lot sillier on map gen. Okay, yeah, as promised, Small Rock did eventually show up, and we're totally going to take it. And this is unironically one of the best second secret rooms in the game, no question, especially early on. Uh, yeah, whoo, hello, beautiful. So we are at 6.38 rate of fire, which is much higher. The tier cap is usually set at 5, so I will tell you exactly what happens. Tractor beam, I believe, breaks the tier cap, and we shoot a freaking machine gun. We're going to try and get behind Isaac and deal double. Yeah, because he's, he's cooked. He's cooked. Bro, bro sold. <laughs> Alright, one last room for the homies. No Curse of the Unknowns. Nothing special here. It's just me and Blue Baby, right or left. We're going to say the dress was blue and black and uh, leave it at that. Have I have I lost my my point today? Have I kind of gone a little bit off the rail? Yeah, yeah okay. I, I hear it. I hear it. But I am certainly going the wrong way. This is, must certainly be the wrong way. And yet, I just have a feel. Oh, <laughs> no, it was okay. Sometimes, sometimes when it looks like something, it is something. In my professional opinion, I'm not interested in Bumbo or Unicorn Stump. Although I do think Unicorn Stump can be a very good space sprite item uh, at the right time. Same as you know, Minecrafter is a very good space space sprite item at the right time. And now it's time to start dishing out MVPs of the run. Uh, I think the obvious, the most obvious one is Satanic Bible, but I do absolutely want to give a ton of credit to the. Uh, the fans of Death's List out there, all four of you, uh, you're right. It's definitely worth. It's definitely worthwhile to pick up. And hello, conjoined would be insanely good with tractor beam because you shoot you in the same spot over and over. And hello, we got our speed back and blue baby. It's uh, you're you're in for a real treat here. I'm pretty sure. You just kinda, I'm just honestly gonna sit behind him, whale that way. Yeah, it's over. Oh, no, nope. it's officially over. So, there's a seed one last time. That was a fun one. I mean, yeah, I, I you got to love the good ones, man. You really do. So, I'll see you all for the next one. It was a win, and uh, we're going to try and keep that going.